Welcome back to Snowrunner, guys, and this is the Tatra 805. Now, apparently, I completely missed this little thing, and I saw it in my inventory, and I was like, what the heck is this? And I did a little bit of investigating, and this is a, basically, it is a DLC truck that is currently being tested on the public test server, and it's been there for a little while now, but like I said before, I completely missed this thing and never even, never even stumbled upon it, and when I saw it, I was like, that's a really cool, quirky looking little cab over, and I really wanted to give it a try and see what it, see what it was all about. Now, right off the bat, though, I will say that the amount of positive camber that this thing has is a little alarming and a little worrying. So let's head right into the customization and see what we can do to it. Now, as far as engine options go, it's already an S+. Like, already right off the bat, don't have to do anything to it. It's already an S+, and it's already got 37s on it as well, which is... Pretty dang impressive, I've got to say. So you're starting off with the LAZ6 T60. You can move up to the T195, the 6210, and the TA240. Now, apparently, these are all S Plus rated engines, but the only things that change are the durability rating and the fuel consumption rating. Now, this one, I'm going to assume has the most power out of all the options because it has, uh, well, it consumes the most fuel. And I feel like it would be logical to assume that that one would make the, mo the most power, even if the power to weight rating did not change. So now we're going to go to the gearbox options and we have balanced, fine tune, high range, and off road. We'll swap to high range a little bit later on in the test, but I'm going to start with the fine tune. And suspension-wise, we have currently one option. Now, being that this is a DLC truck, that could potentially change later on down the line. We're not completely sure about that. But as of right now, as of testing it, it currently only has, like I said, one option. Now, it seems to only also offer 37-inch tires as an option, too. But let's see. We do get mud tires. We got Tega tires. Whoa! All right. We get Tega tires and we get chain tires. Now, that amount of positive camber, though, that is wild that that's the resting position. That's absolutely nuts. Although the rear axle is definitely, definitely a weird design. I mean, you're dealing with a independent suspension truck at all four corners, but it's a very odd axle design. Like, look at that. That is super strange looking. Super strange looking for a rear suspension. So I'm actually going to go with the 37-inch UOD2s, and then later on, I'll switch to the Tega tires. So winch-wise, we're going to go with the advanced medium, and we're going to go with a locking diff for sure. And we'll do... Oh, that's really cool. That's weird looking, but it's really cool. Twin tall flat cap. And we get a small one-unit sideboard bed. We get a maintenance frame, which that that maintenance frame, that service frame, is so freaking cool. I love it. The roof rack is kind of weird looking. It sits really high above the uh, above the truck. D is that an escape hatch up top? Like, legitimately, is that a freaking escape hatch? What? I love it, though. It's so freaking cool. Now, fuel tank-wise, I really like the way it looks, but I think I'm going to go with the maintainer frame because I think it just, like, oh my god, it really, really suits the truck's role so well. It really looks the part, if, if you will. Now, let's see. Dark slant sun visor or angled with beacons. Uh, we'll do the dark slant sun visor. And the double tall beacons are really weird looking. It makes it look like a bug or like an insect of some sort because they stick out diagonally. And then front bumper wise, we got reinforced, hunter, and stock. We'll go with reinforced, I think, on this one. And miscellaneous wise, external horns, we'll throw that on there. And the IX family pack is a, uh, it's a doable add-on. It's something that is compatible with this truck. However, the positioning of it is a little weird. It would be like right in your line of sight if you were to use uh, first person view. Now, wheels wise, obviously, based on the tires we chose, we have a lot of different wheel options. I'm gonna go with MD wheels too. And color options wise, you of course have your solid colors, and then later on down the oh, that looks like an incomplete texture, uh, if I do say so myself. Oh boy, it doesn't really seem to like that. I mean, red it kind of works, but like, I mean, let's see, does it do a little weird box with the oh, okay, so that's not completely ironed out yet, then. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw beans in here on the interior, of course. And the cards are in the same place. They just hang a little bit higher. And with that being said, it would probably be a better option. But let me see. Ooh. Yo, these sticker options are like tiny. Like teeny tiny. Let's see. No road, no problem. And we'll do shove and take my winch. And ooh. Got some large ones up here. I kind of dig that, actually. 
but we've already got well actually since we don't have one there right now we'll go ahead and put one there and exterior stickers obviously you have your normal door placement oh door placement is all you get like straight up door placement is the only thing that they give you in terms of exterior stickers so go ahead and put that guy right there and then windshield stickers you get twin dragons on fire mud and big and dirty all right so let's do I don't think I'm going to do any of the windshield stickers. I'm not a big fan of how they look on this truck. But let's go ahead and get now to the testing. So let's fire it up. It's got an interesting sound to it for sure. The interior is amazingly high detail though. Amazingly high detail. Look at all the gauges. And they look really good too. Let me back up and see what kind of trailer options we have. We probably don't have all that many, I've got to say. But let's see. Oh, wow. More than I thought. Way more than I thought. That's impressive. The fact that it can actually tow some, like, proper, like, medium-duty trailers. I'm impressed by that. This is fast. With that top engine, this is fast. I mean, even with the fine-tuned gearbox that only has four gears, it's a speedy boy. Like, impressively. So look at that. And it handles so well, and it doesn't tip over. This thing is like the little secret vehicle that nobody knew was this good. Or at least, I didn't know. I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there in the comments that's going to be like, Oh, you're late. That's, that's you know, this thing is old news, and you're late to it, and everybody knows about it already. And I'm like, okay. Ooh, easy does it. Man, if I was going to use a vanilla truck as like a medium-duty scout, I would look at this thing like really, really seriously. Let's see how it does up the... Dude, like, actually, like, flinging it back and forth, it doesn't seem like the center of gravity is all that high. Like, it keeps itself down really well. Oh, I shouldn't have hit that rock. Yo, do it. Do it. Do it. Yo. Mad props. Oh, my God. Mad props to this little thing. That is some, like, that is some crazy performance. I'm so impressed. Like, maybe I should be, maybe I shouldn't be, but like, wow, for a freaking default truck to just go right up that, even after I canceled out all of its momentum by bouncing it off of that rock, this thing does great. It does so well, so freaking well. All right, I'm going to bring it back down, and now it's going to be onto the mud. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to do in the mud. It's probably not going to do incredibly well, but I could be wrong on that. I've been wrong before about default trucks. So this thing, I'm going to try it in the mud with these UOD2 tires, and then I'm going to swap them out for the Tega tires and see how big of a difference that actually is. It's so fast. Like, with the fine-tuned gearbox, it is way faster than I feel like it, it should be. I mean, well, not necessarily faster than it should be, but faster than I was expecting it to be. That's for dang sure. So in the shallow mud, in high, it's doing really well. I mean, this isn't even a mud compound tire. This is a off-road compound tire, so mad respect to it for that. Now, before we go into the deeper stuff, I'm going to throw some Tega tires on it just to have them because I do feel like it's going to be a lot better. So there we go. God, this thing, that transforms the stance of this thing. It transforms it so much. All right, it's high range, Tega tires, mud lane number one sketchy all right that's what the that's what the lockers on okay really good really good once it got itself out of that little like digging position it, it was fine completely fine don't worry about it let's go into something a little bit more intense now though let's go a little deeper in terms of mud because I have a feeling that it might not be too happy about the test we're about to put it through. Man, it needs a higher suspension. Those tires are going to be rubbing like crazy in the front. Like crazy. It's doing it. It's not super happy about it, but it is doing it. I've got to say, I think really at the end of the day, you've got to look at it in the sense of like, this is 100% a default truck that is also still in development. It's a default truck. It's a vanilla truck. And my God, I, I cannot get over how incredibly good this thing is doing. It really is though. And now I know that it's going to make it all the way through. So we're going to actually go ahead and pull out of the mud a little bit earlier on. And let's run up the edge right here. Bump up the speed just a little bit. Oh, it did not like that. 
It did not like that at all. It was like, no, 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 no. You are not going to do that to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? Dude, this thing is not having a good time right now. This last little bit of thick mud was really bad for it. It was like not feeling that at all. Come on. There we go. And back into it. See, it makes it across the shallow stuff really, really, really well. Now, before we do the bridge jump, I will, of course, be equipping the highway transmission because I want to see how fast this thing really is. But we do have one more off-road style obstacle to hit with it, and that's going to be the dips obstacle. You guys know. You guys know that testing circuit. You guys know how it goes. Let's see how she does through there. And I don't think this thing is going to do all that bad. No, I know it's a little bit low for the tire size that it is running, but I still think it's going to be really freaking capable. Easy. And with the positioning of that center of gravity... I don't think it's going to have any issues with rolling over, that's for sure. That hatch on the top of the cab continues to baffle me. It really does. I mean, what is it for? Is it for, like, escaping in, 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 the, uh, in the event of an accident? Is it for, you know, maybe giving you an alternative way to get in? Is it, like, you know, I don't know, like, a hatch for, like, a some kind of sticky situation? Who knows? Now, even though it is scraping that front bumper a whole heck of a lot... I am able to get it out of here fairly easily. Yeah, it shows no signs of getting hung up. No signs of getting hung up, hung up whatsoever. I mean, a little bit of engine damage, but I would have thought we would have had more engine damage by the time we got down here. This thing is surprisingly good. Surprisingly freaking good. All right. Now, time to swap out that gearbox. High range and full repair. Let's see how fast you really are. Go ahead and go for some, some uh, brighter weather here. The highway gearbox is an eight speed. Oh my God, it's so fast. It likes to downshift randomly on, uh, on flat ground though. That's a little strange. They might still be working on the transmission programming. Holy moly, it's way faster than I thought it was gonna be. Way faster than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, this is like, gnarly levels. Jeez, look at it from the interior view. That is gnarly levels of fast. For a default truck, man. That is like, I mean, oh, it rips. Sending it. Sending it. Freaking sending her, bud. Oh my god. Oh my god, where's 8th gear, man? It didn't want to shift up to 8th. Boom! Oh, dude, it landed, like, so well. And then right when it got down to the bottom, like, it was perfectly flat, and then it bounced, and that's what did it in. But I gotta say, I am beyond surprised by this vehicle, and I think you guys should definitely keep your eyes on it and keep your eyes on um, the release of it and keep an eye out for uh, when it could be dropping in-game. And, of course, I will be keeping my eye out for any details that I can find in terms of when this vehicle is releasing because this is gonna be quite the incredible little, uh, little campaign truck. That's for dang sure. But if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.